what it is, party people. Here we are playing the Commonwealth campaign as Edward. We're playing the level Last Chance, and uh, we are doing all right. We're kind of coming back from some some pretty hard hits. Uh, we're uh, we're sitting on a new turn here, and we just took out Grelka. We're gonna probably take out Baradir now. Uh, we've got some some pretty scary looking armies here, but uh, I think we'll be all right. This is it's gonna be eight versus ten. And we've got this super BA army right here, so... Oh! Probable defeat! What do we got going on here? Dwarven phalanxes. This war breed's kind of intense. Oh, oh, okay. I'm scared now. I thought that we had a BA army, but apparently not. These guys have 77 health. Okay, maybe, maybe we don't do that. We drop in here. We do have like super morale issues here. All right, Larissa. Is there anybody coming in at us? No. Okay. So uh, we had that pretty amazing fight right here that that turned into some pretty awesome victory. We bottlenecked the hell out of them. I'm gonna leave this guy here for for the time being. The domain invasion of Pranar. Doesn't look like anything particularly scary. Alright, let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, we got Grelka over here. She moved through. Uh, if you remember in, in one of the previous episodes, I can't remember if it was the last one or the one before, Grelka declared peace with us. That was rather awesome. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, we took one army off the map. We also have Cerados off the map. So, uh, we're really only fighting one, two, three, four, five more people instead of seven, which uh, significantly increases the odds that we'll we'll do all right. You know, this is going. Fully expect to see yeah the the, the folks that are here. I guess maybe they're still there. The fog of war is covering them up. Uh, Baradir the bald is coming up next. We'll see if he drops in and, and takes these folks out. We're either going to have the bridge of the city as the place that we're defending from, so we might be able to do some sort of shenanigans to bottleneck people or keep them out. You know, you extend the amount that our ranged attacks can work a little bit better. Looks like they are going to come in for a fight. We are going to have... Oh, now we're closely matched. I wonder if that's because uh, maybe we had a chance to heal. Definitely going to go in for manual combat. Pretty sure it's going to be on the bridge. Yep, it is on the bridge. We're defending, so we're going to we're gonna just pull our people straight back. Uh, I do believe I learned something last turn that just being in a uh, a fight or, or being an army with these guys might uh, reduce morale. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that though. Uh, let's see what we can do either with uh, Sundgren or with Edward. Fire Halo. Is this for the I believe this is for the duration of the turn. Um, kind of want to do that to this guy, but let's uh, let's keep it long range for now. Let's find some weak folks here. This war beat's going to be a problem. Maybe not weak folks. Maybe the strong ones. These phalanxes are going to be a problem. That one's a little bit weaker than the rest. Uh, Oh, Nightshade Fairies. Those have a lot of health. Trebuchet. These, this whole army has tons of health. These Prospectors are probably our best bet. Let's cut them there. I believe those Phalanxes are melee. So they're going to pile up right here. I want to I want to bring our stone giants up I'm not I'm fairly certain that I'm not going to be able to hit anything here I'll have this guy come up he's got tons of physical resistance so we kind of want him up near the front that. bring these archers up and these untouchables we want in the back of the line kind of like that so they're gonna bottleneck right into here uh, which I think will be rather nice. 
Sundry can't really do anything else now. Um, I've always wanted to use this. That's kind of expensive, but you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll with it. Well, we get a trebuchet. I wonder if we get to keep that after the battle. I doubt it. Oh dear lord, that was painful. That had to have been expensive. Oh, if only we had Larissa. Look at how piled up there. Okay. So Edward's got a heal. Let's do that. On... Them. There we go. Uh, Sundren has her charm. Not quite close enough yet. I am really concerned for these stone giants that got really messed up there. Or I guess it's just this one. Pull you back. Pull you forward. Archers come forward. Right about here. We'll hold you there. Oh, did I guard them by flame? I did not mean to do that. I totally guarded them by flame. I meant to... Uh, well, what can you do? Please don't cast more on me. It's rather unfortunate. So we lost the Untouchables, we lost Sundren, we lost some of the Archers, we lost none of the Stone Giants. I'm just going to pull them back some more. Okay. Well, here we are. Edward is going to cast Skin of Oil on these hooks. Reduces their defense. Oh, that siege engine we summon is gone. Morale is not high. Just gonna hold them there. Hold them there. These guys are. I kind of want to sneak in here because then they won't be able to go ham on him. There we go. Uh, I mean, I think that's all we really have. We gotta spread out a little bit. These guys are hurting. Didn't do a lot. Take out that war breed. I'm a little sad that we lost our Untouchables, but it's, uh, it's not a huge deal just yet. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go hard on this Warbreed. Can't quite get to him. There we go. Edward, take him out. There we go. This guy here. Took him out. Excellent. He's going to be up against the Forceborn here in a second. I think we might lose him. If he li if he lives through the next... Ah, I saw that coming. If he lives through the next turn, then I'm going to retreat him. to take two hits. He's got four health left. Ooh, that's rough. We can take a one to two hit here. Take these guys out. Oh, they took Edward out. Okay. Oh. 
This is this is not going well. That's all we've got left for people. Shadow Stalker. Can he get out of here? No, he can't get out of here. Um, he might get two hits. He might might freeze him. I don't know. And as they say, is that these phalanxes are going to come through? Yep. Stone giant stun. I'm sad losing these guys too because there's no way for me to reproduce them. And I guess there's. Take a hit. Oh, 19. That hurt. Bruce Bourne is gone. Really only have the two guys left. We might actually lose right now. I'm gonna have to go back to the end of our last turn. Which really isn't a huge loss. But it's painful nonetheless. Yeah, I don't I don't see this going well at all. Let's see what we can do here. All of these guys are going to get two hits on us. This is kind of the best one. Uh, yeah, he's got the last half. Down he goes. So we know not to group things up here if we retry this fight. One kill. Down he goes and we lose. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we're gonna reload, I guess. That's so sad. So we can't really do much, though. We know they're going to attack us. Uh, we know everybody's kind of low health. Uh, I don't think we can really get any units over there. I don't think we can really summon anything. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess we'll just take the, take the next turn and see what we can do. That is a mighty powerful army, though. going. Not really going to do much that we can see. Barrier is going to move down, we assume. If only we could add the walls. Here he comes. Right, we're going to try this fight again. Let's see what we can do differently this time. Definitely going to pull these folks back. And now we know to spread out. That's pretty spread out. All right, now let's see what we can do here. Let's do it. Let's see if we get hit by. No. Speed these folks up. I'm 
unfortunately, we don't have any real um, AOE spells. Something actually. Um, nah, oh, yeah, this. Uh, I wanted to see. Doesn't suffer reduced movement. That's unfortunate. Um, I think that I should really try to skin of oil just about everybody. Bring the untouchables back. Um, bring her forward. I'm a little afraid of how much health she has. I kind of want to wait here for them to come in. At that time, I'd only have four, which is better. Should spread out a little bit more. These guys run this way. Uh, we'll have this guy run this way. Just want to kind of spread them out a bit more. Skin of oil on the front here. I think that's the best we can do. Let's see if they hit us with stones again. Nope, did not hit us. Steadfast. out those ranged folks. She should be able to charm. Can't be affected. I'll take 35% any day. These folks, yeah, we want to pull him back. Sundren's undoubtedly going to die. Edward's probably also going to die, but better him than others. So let's bring him up. Get some serious AoE damage going for him. Let's try that. If we go forward one more. There we go. Oh, he had bad morale there. I didn't quite catch it. A look at it. I think that's about all we can do. coming. We're going to beat up on Edward who has tons of defense. I'm going to, if he's got it, yep, yeah, we're going to heal him up. Guarded by flames. That'll catch him a little bit more of a turn. And then we're going to take out these war breeds. Good job. Oh, we're we're in a, in a precarious position. Did all of one damage, yay. Let's, uh, let's call it there, I suppose. Does Steadfast last forever? Let's see, Steadfast. Whoa. Steadfast do. I don't 
don't know, but it doesn't seem to go away. Let's put this guy up here. I'm in defensive mode. I fully expect Edward to go down. Although he's doing well. So Edward has no movement left, of course. Can he? No, he can't cast when he has no movement left, which is unfortunate. This guy can move forward just one. Done. We're taking people out, at least. Let's see, it looks like this is going to do a lot more to the first one. And 5 to 8 times 2, maybe it'll freeze him. Oh, it's so frozen, that's awesome. That was very much worth. Okay, so uh, I wholly expect Edward to go down this turn. One or two. There we go. Uh, done. Oh my gosh, he did not go down this turn. Did he? No, he still he doesn't have movement. I was I was gonna say, wow, does he even have movement? Okay, we'll sneak them forward one. Almost took out those firstborn. We'll do this or that. I'm inclined to do that. There was a chance that it would have frozen him. They're taken out. They're taken out. This guy needs to move forward. Oh. Oh. Move this way. There we go. I expect to lose Edward this turn. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Don't take him out. Alright, we're gonna need to back those archers off. Let's take this guy out. 10, 14 times 3. That could hurt, but these are good shape. And I really want to jump in here and attack. Actually, legitly attack this guy. I don't want to do it with this guy, though. I want to back him out and get him where he's not gonna take damage. Take him out, and then the archers can come this. Oh, but not there. Okay, let's move them to there. Archers, take them out. You. Ah, oh, just barely. Shadow Stalker is going to take a hit from them. Maybe you can freeze them? Otherwise, you might die. Good job, good job. So we're probably going to use the Shadow Stalker. I have a hard time believing we won't. They died because of the emulation. So we've really only got the two left. Three left. There goes the Shadow Stalker. Lost the archers. Killed them. Almost killed them. Probably... Boop. Take care of him, and then this guy might be able to hit the trebuchet. Nope. And I probably shouldn't have done that because he's only got 32 health left. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. I can deal with that. I can deal. Attack him. 
Oh no, it attacked them. Of course it did, because that was the guaranteed kill. I probably should not have brought them up there. That was just kind of a waste. Morale is super low, but they won. That Dread Siege was killing us there. Absolutely killing us. So we lost our champion Shadow Stalker. We lost our expert or elite archers. Uh, and we lost our veteran untouchables. I'm not a huge fan of untouchables anyway. This guy did level up, so that kind of brings it to a point. It's kind of nice. Um, we really ought to get them into a city and healing up. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have a problem. I'm hoping to get some veteran flame tanks going here pretty soon. We're starting to get the economy for that, which is kind of nice. So Sundrin, she is in particularly good space. I uh, just want to take a peek at what we can do. Yeah, sure, we'll take a little bit of extra melee. And then a little bit of extra hit points. She could definitely stand to use it. Army requires our orders. Uh, this army is... Oh, actually this army was back in town because it was repairing up. That's what's going on with that. And then Edward here, of course, is going to come here and just kind of hang out for a little while. All right, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh man, he's got three Manticores coming. Okay, so this army really just needs to sit and lick its wounds. Uh, what's this city producing? Economy type stuff, which is understandable. All right, Nessun, of course, is in bad shape. I don't actually see where the invasion is here, so we're just gonna look past that. Uh, pretty straightforward turn. Uh, we're turtling pretty hard right now, so we'll see what happens. Sardos is going. Zoom out a little bit here. Zorn, the disciplined, is going. I'm partially inclined to pull Sothor and Nightblade out. Oh, we've got Leonis coming in with some tanks. Do we have no heroes here? What's this guy? I've never seen him before. A troll? Let's see. He can climb walls. I've got to imagine, yep, he gains 20% uh, of his, his health back. That's pretty typical in the world of troll type stuff. Leonis is coming at us with that army. Oh, and this army. This could be problematic for us. I really want to take Messelson. Looks like uh, Baradir is at least pulling out some of this army, if not all of it. Got a spy drone here. Nothing particularly scary about that. Oh, well, maybe Tudorak, which is the city here, is yep, being attacked by Bear Deer. We've got some boars. And, oh, mounted archers, dwarf mounted archers, and some dwarf axemen. I'm not scared of that yet. Grelka's up. She won't do anything to us, thankfully. Just licking our wounds here, and these guys are in pretty rough shape. If I could, I would sneak right up to this and get full health and then come back, but uh, there's no way I can get up there and back. There we go. Prainer has got that wall up. Great Temple is up. Excellent. Disjunct is ready to cast. I'm sure that I've got a 5% chance to... Oh my gosh, I got lucky. I got very lucky there. Now my armies are just extremely happy. Well, she's not so much, but... I wonder what... Uh, just army... Oh, just because uh, Edward's in there. He's got that perk that gives them high morale. Tudorak has got uh, Bear Deer's armies here. There's actually... Let's zoom in on this. There isn't a ton here, but uh, Sheena the Elementalist. Uh, there are people here. So... 
I'm inclined to attack these armies now. And get them while they're spread out. Let's see what they do here. It's really just those two, so first things first. That. Next things next, we'll put this here. With the firstborn a little out in front. We don't want him to be too in front. Actually, they're all ranged, so I'm not overly worried about that. Let's just uh, pull back a little bit, actually. That's a shot we knew he was going to take. That's fine, because now we've got this. And she can come up here. See which one of these 14 to 21 times 2? 11 to 17. So, so far that. Yeah, probably that. Definitely that. Took them out. Okay, now the archers. These folks forward. And we'll under turn them. Lost the archers. I'm, I'm not wildly upset about that. It only hits them. There we go. Those archers were experts. So we can't really do much here. Guess we'll go here. Hopefully, uh, we don't get attacked too hard. Uh, Edward's just gonna sit tight and defend. First, I thought you had gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's uh, let's get another another disjunct on the board here. Get rid of this disjunct, disjunct, and that is the end of the turn. But that is also the end of the episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, definitely subscribe, like, follow, all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.